So first thing I want to talk about is the complete and utter clown show that we are experiencing with the GOP led house. We have a video here about Kevin McCarthy. So y'all remember who Kevin McCarthy is? He was the shortest serving house speaker in modern history, I believe. He was the only house speaker to be ousted in the last hundred years. I think if I remember right, I was reading about it and I think it was like in 1850 something or other was the last time a house speaker was like voted out. So yeah, Kevin McCarthy, kind of pathetic. And, but you know, he is still a congressperson. He's still there and apparently is a giant asshole. So here's a video that I want to show you guys. Let's turn on our, our camera again here. Maybe there isn't a video, but we can at least read this. This is CBS Republican GOP representative Tim Burche says Kevin McCarthy elbowed him in the back after meeting. So we will just continue. Looks like you're using an ad blocker. Yeah, no, fuck you. I am using an ad blocker. Okay. GOP representative Tim Brashe accused former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy of elbowing him in the back in a Capitol Hill hallway on Tuesday in retaliation for Brashe voting to oust him from the role last month. Kevin McCarthy walked by and he elbowed me in the kidneys as he walked by, Brashe told reporters Tuesday. Kind of caught me off guard. Here it is. NPR posted the audio of the conf confrontation. So this is NPR. Here it is. Let's listen to the audio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you get on the conference, how it went? It sounds like it went back and forth. And yeah, I think it went all right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean to elbow. Why'd you elbow me in the back, Kevin? Hey, Kevin, you got any guts? Jerk. Has he done that before? No. Huh. That's a I'm new not going to talk to him just so that you can kind of hear what happened right this guy's talking to a reporter then kevin mccarthy walks by and sort of elbows him in the back gets him in the kidneys so the dude yells out after him and now he's chasing kevin mccarthy down because kevin mccarthy quickly walked away like a coward wasn't man enough to stand up to the guy just thought he'd give him a cheap shot and then just quickly scurry away like a little cockroach. So now let's listen to this is Tim Bruche chasing Kevin McCarthy down the hallway. <laughs> kind of hear the microphone. The wind going on the microphone. Yeah. He's chasing down. The reporter's chasing too. You got no guts. You did so. They sat there and the reporter said it right there. What kind of chicken move is that? You're, you're pathetic, man. You are so pathetic. See, and you can hear Kevin McCarthy in the background sort of laughing it off like, ha ha ha, I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? You're nuts. As Bruchet is like, you're pathetic. All right, you can kind of see. So I just want to picture you in your mind here of what's going on exactly. This old man, Kevin McCarthy, running away like a fucking coward after he just basically like sucker punched somebody, sucker elbowed, I guess, someone that he was pissed at thinking that the dude wouldn't do anything because he was talking to a reporter and then ran away like a little baby once the guy like chased him down and confronted him about it. I am surprised that the dude didn't swing on him. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I would have swung on him either, but I think I'd be yelling myself a little more. I don't think, I think this guy handled it really well. This guy, uh, Tim Brache handled it very, very well. He didn't go nuts on him. I would have probably gone nuts on him. I at least would have screamed a couple of what the fucks, like really loud or something, right? But there's about five seconds. Let's continue. <laughs> what a jerk. You need security, Kevin. Anyway. Now, I, don't want, I wonder what that last part is about security, though. Like, did he, like, run to the security guards? After that, 
Hmm. McCarthy denied elbowing Brashe, telling CNN that it was a tight hallway. So he lied. Okay. So he he walked by, sucker punched the dude, or sucker, uh, sucker elbowed the guy, and then lied about it. See, the thing is, okay, if it was an accident, then you know what you would have done? You would have said, oh, dude, I'm sorry, excuse me. Oh, if, if it really was a tight hallway, like he has right here, like he's claiming right here, then that's perfectly acceptable. Hey, man, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to, like, you know, jab you in the ribs there or whatever. Excuse me. But he didn't do that. He ran away like a little child, which is pretty much proof that he did the shit on purpose because he was pissed at the guy for voting to oust him because he's a goddamn little coward is what he fucking is. <laughs> That's what it is. The dude's a coward. I think I think this guy, Tim Brashe, I don't know anything about Tim Brashe at all. I have no idea who the guy is. I don't follow his politics at all. He's a Republican. Don't really fucking know. Don't, know, don't give a shit. Don't really care. I think I personally would have gotten really pissed at that. I think that's your your first natural reaction when you something like that happens to you. You know, if somebody walks by, steps on your foot on purpose, something like that, shoves you, whatever. If this were to happen to me, like, because in a similar situation like that, like, I, you don't just, like, let it go. You don't just be quiet. And you don't rationally talk about it. Like, this guy, Tim Brashe, right there, like, very, very calmly and rationally confronting Kevin McCarthy. I think mo I think myself and the reaction of most other people would have been to like scream, "What the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck are you going?" You know what I mean? Like, "Get the fuck back here, you fucking pussy." Like, I think that's what most people would have done. So the fact that this guy was cool about it kind of shows, you know, who's the bigger man here. You know, but that's the first thing. Second thing, why the fuck is that even happening? Like, I think, you know, it, it reminds me of a lot. A few months back, there was a story that was in the news for a day. And what it was, was that a woman was protesting and trying to, like, talk to Marjorie Taylor Greene. And they were walking down the street. And Marjorie Taylor Greene was behind this, this young protester saying, excuse me, excuse me, like really loud, trying to walk around her. And what happened was Marjorie Taylor Greene kicked this girl in the back of her legs. And then the girl said, hey, what the hell? Why'd you kick me? And Marjorie Taylor Greene just sort of snotty said, excuse me, and then walked, kept walking. And of course, she has like, she has like staff members and shit who are like, you were getting in the way of the, you know, you were trying to prevent the congressman from, because it's illegal. You're not allowed to prevent a congressperson to going, from going to a vote. You'll get arrested for that. So they were like, you know, instantly jumped in and said, you were preventing her from, and then, you know, from trying to get to a vote. And then the, the girl who got assaulted was like, I did nothing of the sort. And there's a video of it. And what it is, she's walking in front of Marjorie Taylor Greene and Marjorie Taylor Greene kicks her. And nothing happened to her. Just completely got away. It really reminds me of that. And the thing is, you can see it because Marjorie Taylor Greene is smirking as she walks off. She just gives her this smirk, like, what are you going to do about it kind of smirk, right? And I remember this because I actually did a stream on it. I featured it in a stream. And this reminds me a lot of that, like, reminds me that of that event that Kevin McCarthy just tried to pull the same shit with this guy. And said, you know, like, what are you going to do about it? You know, yeah, okay, yeah, I fucking elbowed you in the fucking chest. Or the ribs or whatever, or the kidney. That's what it is. Elbowed you in the kidney. What are you going to do about it? And this guy, like, fucking followed his ass. Called him out on it. Called him a coward. Dared him to fucking do some shit. It really, really reminds me of that. It's like, these are people that have gotten pretty much everything they've ever wanted their entire lives. Like, let's remember that the average congressperson is a multimillionaire, and they, they're not all rags to riches stories. You know what I mean? So they're people that have lived, you know, even if they, even if they didn't grow up rich, they're people that have lived for decades, uh, extremely privileged lives for decades. And when you have, like, millions and millions of dollars like that, you kind of become a little... Like, for millions and millions of dollars for a very long period of time like that, you kind of become a little disconnected from reality. You start thinking that you deserve that money, and that it's like 
some kind of like divine right kind of thing maybe or like maybe you deserve it because you're just super smart and all that other shit you know what i mean and other people are like beneath you you start getting that kind of vibe going and that's what really kind of makes me think that this asshole kevin mccarthy's got a little bit of that sort of like you know yeah i'm i'm a i'm rich i'm powerful and i can do what i want to you and what are you going to do about it? If you try to do any shit back, I'll have you arrested. Like, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Kind of also reminds me of, there was the, the governor of Montana. If you remember Greg Giofonte in this past election, when he got when he got elected back in 2020, I believe what it is, the night before he got elected, he basically fucking assaulted a reporter. Like, not just like normally like slapped a reporter. He sort of grabbed a reporter and body slammed him. And there's audio of that as well. So we know that this happened. And then the next day he was governor. And all charges against him, like, like they, they basically fined him. They gave him, like, a, a tiny-ass fine. What the fuck are they going to do? He's the governor. They couldn't do shit to him. So Greg Giofani, like, pretty much just got away with it scot-free. Kind of reminds me of that. Like, Giofani, that guy is also another multi-millionaire. He's sort of like a, sort of like a Vivek Ramaswamy kind of guy, like, you know, I'm not exactly sure how he made his money. I think it was real estate or some shit like that. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But basically just got away with it scot-free. Like, he's rich, he's powerful, and he could just beat the shit out of you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, what the fuck are you going to do? Now he's the governor. Now what the fuck are you going to do? What, arrest the governor? No, they're not going to do that. Just because he, like, kicked the shit out of a reporter one time? No. <laughs> Even if you have irrefutable evidence that they did it, there's nothing that you can do. They're just not going to give a shit. They're not going to do anything to you. It's really kind of fucked up. And that brings us to our next ex next example of this, which was the first thing that I opened. This here, let's go ahead and turn on our monitor again, is a fight that almost happened on Capitol Hill. Oklahoma Senator Mike Mullen stood up and tried to fight Teamsters President Sean O'Brien at a Senate Help Committee hearing. So let's make this full size so you guys can see it. Sir, I wish you was in the... Right, this is Mike Mullen right here. Republican from Oklahoma. And let's listen to what he has to say. Like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company. Myself and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard and long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been, always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine, perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that <laughs> your then he gets up. up. No, no, then he gets up. Now, that's the thing. Okay. Remember, this is in the middle of a fucking Senate hearing. They're supposed to be talking about, like, the economy and shit. Okay. So, first off, apparently this guy, Mike Mullen, has beef with the head of the Teamsters going back before this, right? And he was what he was just reading was some shit that the Teamsters guy said. Because this Teamster guy just doesn't give a fuck about, you know, Mike Mullen here. This guy, Mike Mullen, is such a fucking, like, t wannabe tough guy, this dude, Senator Mullen, that he challenges... This is the other dude here. This is the fucking O'Brien, that guy. This is the head of the Teamsters. Look at this guy's face. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, he's like digging this. Anyway, so Mike Ball is such a fucking wannabe fucking tough guy that he's going to stand up and challenge this dude to a fight right in the middle of a fucking Senate congressional hearing. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Now, here's the thing, right? He, he knows that it's not going to happen. He knows that no bun is going to fucking, like, allow him to go fight somebody on the Senate floor like this, right? So, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's complete fucking bullshit. It's basically performative horseshit so that he can look tough. So that he can take this and put it in an ad. 
That's what it is. You know what? What did he do for a living? Early life education and business. What was his business? Blah, 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 blah. He has a plumbing business. Okay, so this dude's a fucking plumber. <laughs> All right. Okay. He's a plumber and he's also a millionaire. There you go. So he owns a plumbing business. Owned Mullen Properties, Mullen Farms, Mullen Services, in addition to Mullen Plumbing. Okay, so he's a... He's a fucking multi-millionaire. He's a real estate guy. He owns a farm. He owns properties and shit like that. And he owns a plumbing business. So whether he built that up from the ground up or whatever, I'm not going to bother reading. But basically, he's super rich. Just another example of a super rich asshole who thinks that his money and power means that he can do whatever the fuck he wants. It's a joke. Now, this is... Now, remember, folks. Why Why is this such a big deal? Okay. Why is it such a big deal that this asshole is, like, starting a fight in the middle of fucking Congress? It's because he's not there to brawl with people. He's not there to, to start fights and to, like, you know, defend his manhood and shit. Okay? He's there to fucking do the business of the United States government. Which is what Bernie Sanders is trying to do when he tries to keep this shit together. Let's continue. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your Fire. solution? Every poll. No, no, sit down. Fire, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Actively. Oh, okay. okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Chairman. it. Hold it. If hold we can. No, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. See, this Bernie Sanders is like the only fucking adult in the room. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic, folks. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. It goes on a little longer there. There's there's a longer cut of this where basically what ends up happening is that Bernie tries to get them to actually talk about what they're there to talk about and fucking they keep throwing mud at each other. And then he keeps and then this guy Mike Mullen keeps saying, "You said this on this day and you called me that." And then fucking Bernie Sanders keeps going Shut up about that. No, you know, we're here to talk about the economy. And then Mike Mullen is just trolling him and shit. Saying, oh yeah, what you gonna do about it? You gonna fight me right here? Like, that guy Mike Mullen, I mean, not Mike Mullen, the fucking, um, the Teamsters dude is just trolling him and stuff. Like, you know, tro trolling Mike Mullen. Saying, like, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? You know, basically, <laughs> essentially, like, what, you wanna kick my ass right here? The thing, like, he's, he knows, that dude's awesome. And Mike Mullen just, like, using his time to air his personal dirty laundry. But he's not there for that. He's supposed to be there to run the government. The people of Oklahoma elected this guy to run the government. And just to kind of show you, you know, the fact that it's like, it's all, it's all an act. Okay. Here's Mike Mullen on January 6th. As the mob that he enabled, that he and his party enabled, were banging on the doors to go kill them, here's him cowering like a little fucking coward, like a child, like a little baby scared of the boogeyman. There's your big and tough-ass fucking senator right there. Okay? Just, it's, it's a joke. It's a goddamn joke. Here's Mike Mullen going on CNN afterwards and doubling down on the fact that he completely made a fool of himself and a mockery of the institution by his insistence on using the government's the people's time not the government's time the people's time in order to basically fucking air out his dirty laundry with the head of the teamster union let's let's listen to what mike mullen has to say and that brings us to my guest right now, a uh, member of Congress of the U.S. Senate who nearly got into a physical altercation with a witness during a separate hearing. Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma is here with me now. Thank you so much for exactly. being here. Uh, you were in it, so I'm not sure if you've seen Okay, Mark Wayne Mullen. I keep saying Mike Mullen, but fuck it. Same difference. Continuing. Seen the video of it. Let's I play it. it. Oh, well, here you go. Let's play it so our viewers can see as well. All right, we already saw the video. Skip ahead. Right hearing, and God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not. I don't make like it worse. thugs and you, bullies. You up, and that's you I don't like you because you just described it. yourself. <laughs> so that was the Teamster guy saying, "I don't like you." <laughs> 
you just described yourself. It's like just trolling him back. And then Bernie Sanders trying to fucking control the situation. It's like he's the only person there who actually gives a fuck about the actual work they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But look, I want to skip ahead. I want to skip ahead to where this guy responds. So I think right around here. Let's continue. The head of the Teamsters, Sean O'Brien, and before this moment, tensions were already bubbling yeah. over. Uh, most recently, before coming, the uh, the head of the Teamsters said in a tweet, "You know where to find me. This is to you. Any place, any time, cowboy." Right. Having said all that, in hindsight, any regrets? No, I, I really don't. There, what happens all the time is you got these keyboard warriors that's going to go out there and run their mouth all the time, and then they don't ever have to face their consequences. Uh, I, and people tell me all the time, you know, this incumbent of a, of a United States senator, and I remind people, I'm a guy from Oklahoma first, and there's consequences for doing some of this. I get no, no, that's bullshit. Okay, did you just hear what he said? Okay, I'm a guy from Oklahoma first. No, you're not. No, you're not. You are a goddamn senator. The people elected you to be a fucking senator. Not to challenge assholes in the parking lot. Not to show how goddamn tough you are. You're not there to do that. You're not there to defend your honor. Or to like make some keyboard warrior fucking eat his words or whatever. You're supposed to be above that. It's a, it's, first off, it's performative bullshit. Because the guy's a fucking coward. Secondly, it's like this arrogant piece. He's probably going to get like a bump in the polls because of this. The people who voted for his ass are going to be like, see, my senator's a tough guy. But he's just wasting your fucking time. He's wasting not just your time. He's wasting everybody in that room. They didn't get any of their work done. They're there to talk about the economy. It's important work because they go and then they vote on shit that has to do with the economy based on this testimony. This motherfucker disrupted that entire fucking thing because his fee-fees got hurt because some dude was trolling him. And even if that's the case, even if that's the case, okay, okay, all right, well, anytime, any place. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. You know what? You don't do that at work. This is work. This guy, it's like, imagine you're in your office right there, and there's a dude that you don't like that works in your office, and he says, anytime, anywhere. And instead of, you know, okay, we'll fight outside, or we'll meet in a boxing ring or something like that, instead of doing that, you stood up in the middle of a giant meeting where the entire company's there, and then, like, tried to fight him. That's what this guy fucking Mark Wayne Mullen just did right there. That's fucking humiliating. This dude should be, I mean, it's dumb as hell. And he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose because he knew that no one would allow him to fight. What's he going to do? Walk down there, right, and then punch the head of the Teamsters Union in the, fi in the face, in front of everybody, in front of all those cameras? No, I don't even think a senator would get away with that shit. All right. He would definitely go to prison for fucking assault. I mean, we got the video right fucking there. He wouldn't be able to walk away and get away with it scot-free. And this dude, the Teamsters guy, is not just like some normal cack on the street. It's not, you know, it's not a, a reporter that he could just body slam and get away with. It's not just like punching the dude in the hallway and then quickly running away. It's not like that. It's not like Margie Taylor Green kicking that girl in the back of her legs. No, starting a brawl. In the middle of the floor in Congress? I really think that he thinks he... He knows that he really fucked up. And now he's like, gotta double down on it. His only way out now is to double down on it and go with the super tough guy act. Because if he expresses any kind of self-awareness that what he did was incredibly fucking stupid and makes him look like a giant moron, he knows that his constituents are going to abandon him. So he's going to double down on it and be like, I'm a guy from Oklahoma first. What about Oklahoma? It makes you so fucking tough. Anyway, I've been to Oklahoma. You know what they got there? Nothing. They got cowboys and humidity and fucking like horse flies. That's it. Oklahoma. T get the fuck out of here fucking giant pussy is what he is he's a giant fucking pussy and i bet you a million bucks that dude from uh the the teamsters guy would beat the living shit out of this moron 10 10 ways to sunday <laughs> teamster dude would fuck this guy up what a fucking loser let's watch a little bit more of this i know right, I'm, I'm just going off on a tangents and shit let's watch a little more there's people on on social media that'll do this constant i'll never see them this guy I did. And this wasn't his first time. He did this to me five separate times. I ignored it every time. And then the last time when he called, when he said, you know where to find me anytime, 
anywhere cowboy, I thought, you know, maybe this could be a good thing. Maybe we could do this for charity. If he really wants to be this tough guy and be this, you know, this, this union boss of the Teamsters uh, who said that, mind you, in 2022, he said he wants to bring back the mob mentality back to the Teamsters. This is the same guy in 2013 that was suspended by his Teamsters for harassing and intimidating them. I thought, oh, my God, fuck you. All right. All right. First off, first off, did that video look like he wanted to do it for charity? Okay. Was he going to beat his ass? Like, was he going to go, like, beat his ass right there in the middle of the fucking congressional floor for charity? Were they selling tickets for charity? No. Okay. Now, to be fair, he does later on in the extended cut say, okay, well, let's let's organize a, a match between us for charity. And you know what uh, the Teamsters guy says? He basically says in, in so many words, go piss up a rope. Fuck you. And you know what? That's the right response. Because even if you could beat it, even if you could fight the guy, you shouldn't. You know why? Because fuck him. What's he going to do about it? No, in real life, you shouldn't, you know what? Everybody has to fucking like settle their differences with their fists. How about this? How about you? I just continue to insult and taunt you and leave you in impotent rage. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my giant fucking butt cheeks. Because listen to what he just said there. All right, he said, oh, there's keyboard warriors that do this to you all the time. This time I managed to find him, but there's other people that you never see. You know what that means? That means he gets pissed off when people on Twitch and on Twitter and on Facebook and social media and stuff call him names. It means he can't take it. He can't handle it when people troll him. You know, I got, a, I got news for you folks. If you can't handle being trolled on the Internet, then stay the fuck off the Internet. If you can't handle people making fun of you, people calling you names... People fucking like giving you threats. No, that's that comes with the territory. People calling you a moron. People calling you stupid, saying that you're ugly, whatever, you're dumb, etc. That's just you can't go on the internet without somebody saying shit like that to you. And yeah, granted, the first time it happens to you, it sucks. There's nothing like an entire forum, for example, turning against one person. Not that I would know this from experience or anything. <laughs> But no, that's part of what being having an online presence actually means. And you know, if you're going to be a senator, that you're putting yourself in the public light like that. If you're going to go and be a senator, that means that you have spent a shitload of money and like campaigned and all that shit and got votes and all that so you could be a senator. That means that you did that on purpose so that your name will be out there, so that people will be looking to you in order to vote on their behalf that makes you a celebrity when you're a senator that makes you a celebrity there's no such thing as an anonymous senator so if you didn't want that if you didn't want that scrutiny that comes with the job then you're in the wrong fucking business right you just be perfectly fucking happy being rich and running your fucking plumbing business or whatever just go fucking do that if you don't want to be in the position where people are going to question you and insult you and say not and say nasty things about you and all that stuff and disagree with you and call you a fucking moron and a guy a giant coward and a baby if you don't like that then don't be a goddamn senator right don't be in the government don't be someone who's like just be just getting that job makes you newsworthy it makes you a, it makes you a celebrity you can't do normal stupid shit that normal ordinary people do when you're a senator because there's going to be paparazzi following you around, right? There's going to everything you do is going to be a news story. You go take it if you shit your pants at a fucking McDonald's. That's going to be in the news, right? If you're just a normal, ordinary person, nobody cares. But no, you chose to be a senator, so people are going to be scrutinizing you. This is what happens. And if you don't fucking like it, then don't fucking take the job. So that's the first thing, right? Second thing, learn you know, grow some balls and grow a thicker skin, okay? And no, you can't go beat the shit out of everybody who makes fun of you. You can't, like, go kick kick someone's ass every time a keyboard warrior calls you a giant fucking man baby behind the internet. You know, after this, you know what we're going to do right now? This is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go here. You know, We're going to shut up. Shut up, you fucking asshole. I'm done talking about that. You know, we are going to go to Twitch or Twitter, and we are going to look up fucking what the fuck is his name? Mark Wayne Mullen. Where the fuck is he? Senator Mullen. All right, that's Senator fucking Mullen. Here's the guy 
Then this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. We're going to find the first thing that he says here. And then we're going to fucking say at. So this way it gets tagged. Sen Mullen is a giant, stinky, idiotic, do do face coward. <laughs> Kiss my giant hairy flabby butt cheeks you massive gibbering slobbering baby I can spell slobbering there what are you gonna do about it reply fuck you <laughs> I did that to him on purpose now specifically because he can't handle quote unquote keyboard warriors what you gonna do about it mike fucking mullen you want to fight me no you know why because fuck you all right oh that makes me a coward no it doesn't make me a fucking coward right how about you be an adult and learn how to take it when people fucking troll you how about that senator fucking man baby fucking moron how about you quit wasting time with stupid bullshit like someone who insults you on the internet and how about you do your goddamn job that the people fucking elected you to or how about you quit wasting the fucking taxpayers dollars challenging people to fights and shit you're not there in the you know we they didn't we didn't elect you well i don't live in oklahoma so i didn't vote for his ass at all but the people of oklahoma didn't elect your ass to fucking like do pay-per-view charity fights if you want to do that then go join the fucking mma or whatever Go train and do that shit. Go fight people in the fucking octagon. The UFC. Or whatever. That'd be perfectly fucking acceptable. You could do that and like not waste everybody's time and fucking money. How about that? We'll be better off when you quit the fucking Senate. You fucking idiot. It just drives me up the fucking wall, folks. It drives me absolutely up the fucking wall. Because while this shit is happening, there's actual crises happening in the world right now. We have war in ukraine we've got fucking the wanton slaughter of innocents in fucking israel right now we've got like looming crises here with like the environment and like global climate change and you know the creeping fascism that has just been accelerated recently donald trump and his fascist fucking cabal trying to take over the goddamn country again we've got all these different crises that are all like screaming at us at a million miles an hour and this motherfucker is sitting here using the time that we should be that we set aside for them to actually solve these problems to address his personal fucking vendettas fuck this guy hello folks if you like what i do and you want to support the channel please consider buying something from my sd shop supporting me on patreon liking and subscribing, and checking me out across my social media links listed below. Thank you all so much, and see you next time.